So it's been almost two years since the government implemented a plastic ban across the island. There were those who had their complaints at first, but folks have got used to it. And environment-wise, we've been reaping the benefits, I'm told. To talk to us about the way forward in 2021 and beyond, the Honourable Minister of Housing, Urban Renewal, Environment and Climate Change, Colonel Charles Jr. Morning, Minister. Welcome to Smile Jamaica. Morning, Neville. Morning, Simone. Morning. Was I right to say, for the most part, we have been adhering to the to the new new law about um, not having plastic? I think, for most part, we've been trying our best as a country. Um, and and yes, we've seen that stakeholders have come together and partnered um, in understanding the importance, firstly, of the ban. Um, and that it's not just a ban to stop people, but it's a ban to stop the impact of climate change. So as a government, we have a responsibility to put in place laws and policies um, to change our behavior in a positive way. And that's what the, the ban on plastics is about. What about where plastics. we are? What about where we are now? Um, I said also um, going forward and beyond. So what do you want to tell us about it now? Well, going forward, uh, Neville, we have no choice but to uh, change uh, and more um, so that we can stop what has been um, observed as an extreme impact of climate change. We've seen the longer droughts. We are, we are ex experiencing the more frequent and intense weather systems. This year alone, we had the most active weather um, system across our country that we've ever seen, across the, the region that we've ever seen since, since history. Uh, so going forward, we have implemented, um, or will be implementing on January 1st, phase three of the ban. Uh, and that will see us um, stopping the importation, the distribution, the manufacture and use of those single-use plastic band bags of 24 by 24 um, definition um, and 2.5 mil thickness. It will also see the introduction of something new, which is the banning of the drinking straws that are made in part or wholly of plastic and attached to your juice box. So, you know, really? you usually get that, that, yes. So when you go out and you buy that Ribena or the little, little juices, that straw that is on it is plastic and you only use it once and then it ends up in the gully or it ends up in some animal's nose and, and that ends up in us because it goes along the food chain so we are we are we are causing now the stakeholders to move from plastic towards other biodegradable and alternatives and we actually have some companies that have already um shown us samples of their products which they have moved and transitioned from plastics. And we have other companies um, to whom we have been speaking, who we have said to them, though we are implementing on January 1st, uh, we understand the need for you to transition. So uh, we have given a six month transition readiness period for them to get their opportunity um, to, to prepare uh, the, well, not prepare, but to transition into whatever the alternative is that they will be using. Okay, so come Jan this is come January one, you said, Minister. Come so January, January one, morning. Okay. January morning. Okay. And it and was the same thing two years ago. Remember, it's it's not something which we've promulgated just now. So I came into the ministry with this already in a ministerial order. So right. you have two orders: the Trade Plastic Packaging Materials Prohibition Order 2018, um, and then you have the NCRA Order 2018. Those two orders were two years ago promulgated. So we are advancing the orders as they were set. Um, and we are giving an additional six month period uh, to make sure that all of our stakeholders know we're not trying to constrain commerce, we're trying to protect our life and ensure that Jamaica leads out in terms of advancing the environmental agenda um, and, and you know reducing the, our pollution it impacts us. Yeah. All of these things come up the food chain to us. So we, we're basically eating all of the plastic um, that we put out there. Right. Um, so in that way then, Minister, in order for us to succeed at this, we need the buying of all the stakeholders, right? Especially um, the man and the woman who are going to the supermarket, who are, you know, have their garbage at home, 
Um, we we're talking about the four you four R's: reduce, reuse, refuse, recycle. I mean, how are yes. we getting those messages out for 2021 to get the buy-in of the common man who does not understand, and some people still do not. You know, we don't understand, or we don't care. They throw their garbage anywhere. They throw their plastics anywhere and end up in the in the gullies. Um, how do you get that behavior change that we desire and that we need to move the needle any at all? I think you have hit it on the head with that question. What we have to do is we have to advance laws that make sense and protect us and put in place a framework for us to operate, such as this ministerial order that prohibits the use of the single-use drinking straws and, and small plastic bags. We have to put in place now a robust public education campaign. We are going to be going to schools, we're going to be going to churches across the country to make sure everybody understands their own individual responsibility to protect our country and to make sure that they understand that by banning plastics, that's just one little element of a wider and more comprehensive shift that is needed. We need persons to, to, to shift how they think individually. So look on, look on even the plastic um, bottles. I brought one myself here. These plastic bottles end up in our gullies and they end up stopping uh, all of the, the, the pathways. Um, you, you see more floods, you see more, more, more pollution. Um, and it ends up in our food chain. So this ban, as I said to you, is only one step. Next year, we're going to be doing, um, implementing the deposit refund scheme. So these plastic bottles, as I showed you, uh, we put in place an incentive mechanism to make sure that persons uh, can, can get something back when they give back the plastic bottles, the pet yeah. bottles. Um, so laws, yes. public education, and incentives um, all, all, all a part of that wider campaign that we okay. have as a government. I have one more question. I don't know if Nev has any more before we go. Um, I see we're implementing a national tree planting initiative, which is yes. great because climate change, I've learned a lot about it since um, helping my daughter to prepare for PIP. But there are a lot of yeah. people, minister, who are saying that the government is not serious about climate change or elements of it because we talk about deforestation, which is why we're planting trees. But Puerto yes. Bueno is a big issue. So what say you to the folks who are saying, are you serious or are you not serious about this? I mean, listen, there is no doubt that we're serious. Um, and there are so many minutia details in the, in the Puerto Bueno situation. The reality is we are implementing the 3 million trees in three years project uh, because trees is not just about beautification. We as human beings have a relationship with the trees that is mutually advantageous. They need us to protect them and we need them to live. Uh, they, they, they take in that carbon dioxide and they, the output is what we need to breathe. Uh, so so it's, it's important for us in terms of our existence. It's important to keep our soil in a place to reduce the landslides because of this, the roots going in and holding the soil together. It's important to, to, to really, um, even the, or, the urban renewal um, initiative. We need trees um, across our country, um, and we're going to put in place not just the planting of trees, but a strategy that's going to make sure that what we plant, where we plant, when we plant, and how we plant makes a significant difference. And I'm going to have to bring yourself and never out, because I know we don't have enough time. I want to bring you out one of these days when we're planting, so all of Jamaica can get involved and understand the importance of that little seedling um, growing for commerce, uh, for us to have food, for us to have shelter, um, and for us to have oxygen so we can breathe. Yeah. Thank you so much, sir. All the very best Thank to you and your family. Thank you to you. And thanks to all of your, your, your listeners and those who view you. Um, keep safe throughout Christmas and enjoy this period with your loved ones. Same to, to you, you and your minister. family, sir. Thank, Thank you very you. much and God bless you. The Honourable Minister yes. of Housing, Urban Renewal, Environment and Climate Change, Colonel Charles Jr. All right, and the Ministry has a Christmas message for you. Watch this.